just a very simple functions in here. It looks very similar to the procedure. Um, the only difference is that you put that in the param and you have a return statement um, compared to your procedure. So let's just say we have a really simple uh, function to just do a very simple calculation. Same thing, create a function, the word function here now. Uh, give it a name. <clears throat> you can use uh, UDF uh, or just UFN like the um, average work uses. That's fine. I'll just say here, I could do like add some or add to. And then I'd, in here, I put my parameters in a param. <clears throat> Followed by returns, the word returns with the capital, or with the S at the end. And what type of data is coming back? Remember, just return one type back. Okay, you cannot return multiple uh, type. Either uh, both data type that we know so far. You can return a table back if you want. If you return a table, you have to specify the table here. So if I say return as table, then you have to give the entire table ID all thing inside there. It comes back as a table. Okay, kind of similar to what we did with the um, uh, the variable last time, right? You put a variable name. Same thing. Here I would just say, oh, ID is ID is end, and then and so on. Okay, and then inside your script, you will populate this table, and then you return this table back. This is a little bit complex, but you can do that. But easiest one, just say you return end type, and then as the begin, just like the procedure, right? Um, just say again, I don't have to keep the proper control here. So here, I'm not putting any parameter here. Um, and how must return it says it says must return a must be a return statement. It just means returns an int. I can put this into a single line. So you see, it looks like that. Looks just like Visual Basic almost, except Visual Basic you have the word returns here. Put the word as here, right? Returns as a a data type. So here we put the returns. It's a singular because a function returns integer. That's what it's trying to tell you. But in your statement. You have to have a return something in here. I can say return five. Okay, <clears throat> so that will return five. If I want to say return five plus three, that make more sense. So there's my function it has no parameter. If I don't put a parent here, I think it's going to ask you to. It's going to yell at you. Okay, so that's the difference between a function and a, a server team. If it will return something to data type. And you have to wrap your param with the function parameter, no parameter, leave it blank. And then you create, and that's all you get. Very simple one. And so now I'm not accepting any parameters. So we call this, remember that it's a function return something. So you, you have to assign that to a variable name, or you can use that in an expression. Okay, just like your function. So I could say declare a variable called. Um, t for total as int. You have to match the type. And then I can call that function. I can say execute the function. So I want to set t equal to that function. So udf at 2. And we're not going to put that here either. So when you call it, you call it exactly how you call the procedure. Okay? So you don't. So that's uh, very confusing in this in this part, but you will just do exactly so. Just leave it at. There's no paren, no nothing there, and uh, I must type the execute here. And then t returns could be she has eight. So we can print that. We can select that eight. Uh, select that t. Number select. You can select a parameter. If you select it's going to go into the select the result set instead of the message, right? If you read my email. Okay, so if I go ahead and run this part, and um, you'll see that it returns 8 in the result set here. Very simple. And you get the same as before. You can encrypt it if you want to, just like before encryption. Just put it between here. Okay. <clears throat> so if you want to pass parameters to this, if you want to pass two parameters, you put it in here. You can do that, or you can put inside uh, separate lines if it's that's easier. And you see that in the book or some places, they usually put that into their own line, like that. And the reason is because if you had a table, like I saw you, 
then that becomes complicated because the table has a lot of columns in there, right? So you have more room, but you can do that in one line. So back to the nth type. <coughs> and the parameter here, I could say, um, declare a a as int and then b as int. So two parameters. Uh, instead of create, I need to alter it now because I saved that there. Um, it didn't like because I didn't put a go here. <coughs> Okay, so in here, instead of 5 plus 3, I'll just put a <coughs> plus b. And I'll just go ahead and execute this. So that's done. And we run this, the same thing. You make sure you pass the parameters because I didn't set the default values. So if you're just going to run like this, it's going to yell at you. <coughs> Say you need to expect the a is not supplied because it runs that first. Is that failed? It stops there. If you only supply one, then it's going to yell at you the second one. So the B is not supplied either. So you put that again, the comma, and then the second parameter. Okay, not in the parent, even though you have in the parent up here in the uh, function head, when you call it, you just call it exactly like the procedure. Okay, so now I should return uh, 17 for the result. So very simple, like that for function. Very similar, except that you have to return something. Whereas the other procedure, you don't have to, even though it returns something back I mean, implicitly, um, um, it just said the return statement, and the procedure returns an integer value here, you can return any data type. Okay? So just don't forget, returns at the top, returns the data type, as begin and then your statements go in here.